So here's my armamentarium uh, for dealing with this young child. So I'll use, of course, topical anesthetic. And again, we mentioned most of these are, are uh, benzocaine formulations. We use our local anesthetic agent. Again, uh, for mandibular uh, procedures, uh, this is a 27-gauge needle, works, works fine. Uh, the 25 can certainly be used as well to reduce the amount of pain on injection. But as I mentioned earlier, one of my uh, problems is a tendency to inject too quickly. And there was that device a few years ago that was computer-aided, which was fairly expensive, and it would give very small little aliquots of local anesthetic solution. What we found is this little device here used for PDL injections with a very small 30-gauge needle. Every time you depress this, you get one click, which gives you 0.1 ml of the local anesthetic solution. So a very small amount is administered every time you click down on that. And so by placing some topical anesthetic in that area, using a solution initially without a vasoconstrictor, such as mepivacaine, which will have less S, S, S will be less acidic, lower, uh, higher, a more normal pH, and therefore will sting and burn a lot less for the patient. Once I place a small aliquot of that into the tissues, I can then back it up with an agent containing a vasoconstrictor, such as Oroblock or Articane 4%, and then that will allow me then to get more profound local anesthetic that's going to last for potentially a longer duration of time as well, too. So just a little close-up of the device here. Again, uh, this little marker here actually tells you where the bevel is. I can tell you that, to me, it makes a very big difference. And again, every time you click down here, the plunger gets to press a small amount, so this will continue to depress uh, 0.1 milligram, uh, 0.1 ml, rather. Now, the drawback is, of course, with something like this, you can't aspirate, so we are injecting with a non-aspirating technique. But again, we're giving a very small amount, very slowly, so even if that was directly in a blood vessel and absorbed, there would be zero to no uh, systemic effect from that.